morning to everyone myself Teman Kumar today we are going to discuss different types of number system so in the different types of number system we have especially the two types of numbers are there the first one is real numbers and second one is imaginary numbers so in the real numbers we have two subcategories so which are those two subcategories any idea so those two subcategories are rational numbers and irrational numbers so in the rational numbers again we are divided into whole numbers, integers, natural numbers. So in the natural numbers, again we have two categories. One is prime numbers and composite numbers. So let us do is let us going to discuss one by one to know about the real numbers and imaginary numbers. So, so if you want to know about the real numbers and imaginary numbers, you need to know about the previous classes, different types of number systems, those who all are discussing now. Okay. So the first one is what is natural numbers. So natural numbers are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the infinity which are all of the numbers are there. Those are called as natural numbers. That means 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma to the infinity. So which those all numbers are called as natural numbers. So next coming to the. So if you want to note, if you want to represent the natural numbers, how we are going to represent. So for example, if you have. 5 mobiles in your room, you can tell exactly 5 mobiles. If you have 3 pens with you, you can directly tell 3 pens. So you cannot tell 3.5 pens and it may be 5.5 mobiles like that, you cannot tell them. Okay, so there should be exact value for denoting the natural number. So next going to discuss whole numbers. So whole numbers, for natural numbers, if you include the zero, which is nothing but whole numbers which will become the whole number for natural numbers if you include the zero it will become whole numbers so examples are 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 to the infinity which all numbers are called as whole numbers understand so next coming to the next coming to the integer numbers okay so integer numbers sir, in this integer numbers these are nothing but including the whole numbers and also natural numbers so here which zero after which numbers are there zero before which numbers are there those all numbers are called as integers for example zero after which numbers are there one comma two comma three comma four so these all numbers are called as positive integers so zero before which numbers are there minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five to the minus infinity so which are all numbers are there those are called as the negative integers numbers the combination of positive integers and negative integers are called as integer numbers understand so next for example how you are going to denote the integer numbers or represent the integer numbers see if you want to represent the integer numbers you have 100 rupees you have given that 100 rupees to your friend so your friend returned only 50 rupees to you then you have lost of 50 rupees then you can represent that as you are having minus 50 rupees that means remaining 50 rupees you are lost got it so the integer numbers are denoted by capital Z and these consists of negative sign either positive sign in front of the number and whole numbers are denoted by W and natural numbers are denoted by N. So now we are going to discuss what is prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers means we have the numbers having only two factors. Numbers having only two factors are called as prime numbers. So those two factors are number divided by 1 and the number divided by itself. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. So these all numbers, if you take example, 2 means 1, 1, 2 is a 2 and 2, 1 is a 2, only 2 factors. 3 means 1, 3 is a 3, 3, 1 is a 3, only 2 factors. 5 means 1, 5 is a 5, 5, 1 is a 5, only 2 factors. So these are the prime numbers. So next we are going to discuss composite numbers. Composite means what? Composite means the name itself indicates that there are more. So numbers having more than the two factors are called as composite numbers. Numbers having more than the two factors are called as composite numbers. Understand? So example, if you take 4 or if you take 6, if you take 8, how many factors these numbers having? 6 means we can divide 6 with the help of 1 and with the help of 2 and with the help of 3 and with the help of 6. That means 1 6 is a, 2 3 is a, 3 2 is a, 6 1 is a. So 6 having 4 factors. So that, uh, that's why 6 is called as a composite number. So like that, composite numbers having more than the 2 factors. Understand? So now we are going to discuss what is rational numbers. See, rational numbers are nothing but which are denoted by 
capital Q. So capital Q are rational numbers. So rational, the name itself indicates that in the rational you take only ratio, the first letter, first four five letters ratio, which indicates that means ratio means nothing but fraction. Got it? Ratio means nothing but fraction. So you can tell rational numbers are minus three by two, or it may be minus four by five, or it may be. 2 by minus 1 or it may be 3 by minus 2. So these are all are the examples for the rational numbers. Got it? But in the rational numbers, there is one thing to remember. Very important thing. In the rational numbers, the denominator should not be a 0. Example, it should not be a minus 4 by 0 or it may be minus 3 by 0 or it may be 4 by 0 or it may be 5 by 0. The denominator should not be a 0 in the rational numbers. If the denominator is 0, then it should not be a rational number. Understand? So next coming to the irrational numbers. So irrational numbers, irrational numbers means it is nothing but exactly opposite to the rational numbers. Exactly opposite to the rational numbers. So examples are minus, so examples are root of 2. So there is no exact value for root of 2. So that means you can tell the root of 2 value will be 1.41 something like that. Right? So these are the irrational numbers. So next coming to the real numbers. So real numbers are, real numbers means these are the union of rational numbers and irrational numbers. So irrational numbers are denoted by Q dash and maybe Q complement. So real numbers means which are the union of rational numbers and irrational numbers. So we are going to discuss those real numbers and imaginary numbers in the next class. So we don't have time now. Thank you.